Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our Wi-Fi battles, HD Wi-Fi battles, the highest of quality, with me, your boy, or Bomb, and we're battling your boy, Fugio, one of my greatest friends on YouTube, an amazing guy, um, really, really nice guy with a hilarious channel, go check him out, but anyways, I digress, let's get into the Wi-Fi battle, drop a like, by the way. I am running Scarf, Serena, Offensive, Kartana, um, Fizdef, Tabu, uh, whatever, Tabu, <laughs> um... Mega Sharpedo, Primarina, and Magnazone. Ignore all the things happening on the screen. Uh, Fugio is running a Decidueye, a really annoying executor. Um, Dug Trio, Mimikyu, um, the Koala Pokemon, and the Toucan Bird. <laughs> I can't do that that fast, guys. But anyways, we're here. I'm going to go ahead and leave with Anaconda because it, it can U-turn around, around anything. If he leads Mimikyu, I can break the uh, Disguise. And most of his team is slower because I am Scarf unless he's packing a Scarf of his own. He does lead off with the Decidueye, which is like, whatever, I can just U-turn on this. I don't want to take any Spirit Shackles or anything that's going to do some pretty decent damage. So I do U-turn out of there. I go right into my, um, <clears throat> my Kartana. Kartana seems like the best bet here. It can resist uh, the grass type moves he might go for. Um, and has a lot of Fizz Def, and most of them are physically offensive because Spirit Shackles is a physical attack, and Fizz Spirit Shackles is a really, really cool attack that a lot of people should use if you're using the Situai. So I am just going to go into Kartana. I do have the Night Slash for this thing. If he feels like he's safe, because a lot of them don't run Night Slash, it's usually like Sacred Sword, um, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, and um, uh, what else do they run? Like Swords Dance, Defog, things like that. But I do catch him off guard. I do knock him out with that. He goes into Krona, though. Now, this is a really scary Pokemon for me to go into. Is he going to will o -Wisp me, which would be kind of annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and hard switch right into my Juvia. Uh, Juvia is my Tapu Lele, I believe, is this thing. Or it's Feeny. It's Feeny. Feeny, 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 because it's a fish. Um, but Tapu Feeny, just to, uh, you know, turn off the will o -Wisp. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and break his disguise while I can. Because the disguise is kind of annoying. He is a Swords Dance set. So he's will o -Wisp Swords Dance, which is really, really interesting and super cool. And I'm a huge fan of it. Um, because it kind of, like leaves you off guard not expecting it but yeah uh knowing that i'm physically defensive i should be able to eat any like play rough or shadow claw or anything so i'm hoping that he doesn't do over half because this thing's a monster so i'm just gonna go ahead and moonblast again here but he does play rough and play rough as you can see does do a bit over half which means the next one is a roll to kill after leftovers and i really want to keep this thing alive for things like duck trio and um and Komala, which could be really annoying, uh, especially since most Komalas run Toxic, I can turn on the Misty Terrain so that he can't use Toxic on me. Uh, so I just go into this thing to sack it off. I figured, like, what, might as well, why not? Because, like, I don't really need it anymore. It doesn't really do too much against this team anymore anyways. And I'm just going to go right into my Schnaz, <laughs> the Mega Sharpedo. I'm going to protect here just to get up some speed in case, like, he goes in the Duck Tree or anything, whatever. And he's just going to Sword Dance on the Protect. Great move on his part, um... Now he gets a chance to go for a free Shadow Sneak, get off a lot of damage if he wants to, uh, because it is Mimikyu, even though Mimikyu is pretty bad. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Pokemon, though, so I can't even give it that shit, but like, Mimikyu only has base 90 attack, which is why it's not the greatest Pokemon in the world. But as you can see, the Shadow Sneak is going to do some decent damage, I believe like 40% maybe? Let's take a look. Yeah, about 40%. I'm just going to go ahead and knock him out with a Waterfall. Now, I had to Mega because I don't know what this man's spread is, if he's running a lot of bulk or not, and I want to make sure to knock him out because he could actually be very annoying if I don't knock him out. He goes into his Jumanji the Executor, one of the most irritating Pokemon in the world. I'm just going to go hard into my Anaconda, the Serena, so I can get off some free U-turn damage. He's going to go for the Sleep Powder, um, so yeah, <laughs> I get to absorb that, which is kind of nice. And uh, I'm just going to go for U-turn here because it hits him super effectively. And I don't know if he's going to go for like a Draco Meteor or something to take some big damage. So at this point, I'm going to go U-turn directly into my Magnezone. He gets to eat a Citrus Berry. You can't even see the berry on screen. That's how tall Executor is. It's kind of ridiculous. Also, we're battling the Feeny in the Tapu area, which I think is kind of cool. And go to my Welcome to the Magnezone. Um... And he's going to go for Draco Meteor. I'm a Salt Vest Magnezone for this reason. Actually, I'm a Salt Vest Magnezone for Tapu Lele because Tapu Lele is a beast. Uh, but it also works in this situation too. So I'm going to go ahead and eat up that Draco Meteor. And uh, he's going to go ahead and harvest his berry back. I'm just going to go for the uh, HP ground here. Predicting him to go into the Duck Trio because Duck Trio kind of does eat up both Steel and Electric type moves. But he goes ahead and stays in and he goes for the Substitute, which is an amazing play on his part. Predicting me to do that. He gets his berry. <laughs> he's sub 
sleep powder. Ever heard of sub leech seed? This man is sub sleep powder. It's ridiculous. It's so annoying. So here I can I have to go for flash cannon to break the sub because I can't let him be behind a sub. Hello, I don't know what this man's gonna go for. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. Here he just goes for sleep powder. He puts me to sleep. This man lands a sleep powder. What is this garbage? Anyways, <laughs> I'm asleep now. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna stay in here and wake up because I know that he has a dragon time move, which means probably his last time move is going to be a Giga Drain or Wood Hammer or something like that. And it is Wood Hammer. And I know that Magnezone can at least wall this for a little bit, but that was damage. Did you guys see that damage? That was damage. That's a resisted hit. Executor's a beast. Um, I'm gonna do my best to wake up here and get off this flash cannon damage because this thing's kind of annoying. Uh, he just keeps harvesting all of his citrus berries, like the like the pro that he is, apparently. But I do wake up here. I do get off my flash cannon damage. Uh, but because he did harvest the citrus berry, um, I'm not going to kill. And he's going to get more citrus berry health back. Which you know what that means, right, guys? With that citrus berry, he's in range of putting up another substitute, which he does. And now something's going to go back to sleep. I could go into Anaconda here, but I don't want him to predict me and go for a Draco Meteor or a... Um, and he gets to eat a substitute. He gets to eat the berry behind the substitute. What is this? <laughs> I'm gonna go for another flash cannon because I don't want him going for wood hammer or the Draco Meteor on my Anaconda if he did predict me a hard switch. Because um, he's been doing a lot of really nice predictions this game. And he doesn't predict me, or maybe he predicts me to predict him. I don't know. I don't know. Fugio's, Fugio's a pro. Fugio's actually a pro. And he puts me back to sleep. And now I'm just like, whatever. I'm done with this. I'm already asleep. I'm going back in Anaconda. This man's probably going for another substitute. And he goes for wood hammer here. I'm like, oh fuck. All right, and then the wood hammer. There's a pretty decent chunk. Um, Anaconda is really bulky. If you guys don't know, I think it has like 98, 98 defenses with like some ridiculous HP stat. Um, <clears throat> so that was kind of annoying. But here I'm just going to U-turn, get off some super effective damage. It should knock him out at this range. So he does retreat, retreat, knowing that he goes into his Fruit Loops, the two can Sam, the two cannon, um, and uh, this thing. <laughs> This thing's a lot more of a threat than I thought it was going to be. Uh, turns out he's actually Life Orb Offensive. I don't know that yet, though. So I'm going to go ahead and hard switch right into my Magna Zone. Try to get off some more sleep turns because I really want to wake up. It's kind of important that I wake up against him. Um, so he just U-turns here just in case I do wake up. Um, I don't think he had anything else that could have killed me, though. As you can see, he is Life Orb now. That is a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure this thing's... I, I think this thing's adamant, dude. It's ridiculously strong. He goes into Fabio Cubed. <laughs> One of my favorite names for Ductrio. And uh, I'm still asleep, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to go for HP ground here because I got weakened to such a low HP uh, count that it doesn't even matter if I die or not. And he predicts me to switch out and goes for Pursuit. I've, obviously, I didn't switch out, um, but that did look really, really strong. I can't tell if he's like, I mean, he might be adamant, which is what I'm worried about because adamant's really strong, but it doesn't outspeed my... Um, my uh, my Sharpedo even after Mega, so that's really nice. Uh, he does knock me out there. I can go into my Jasmine, the uh, Primarina. If you guys have any really good Primarina nicknames, let me, let me know down below. I really like Primarina, but I can never think of a good nickname for it. He goes into Jumanji here. I just go for Moonblast predicting the switch because, you know, this thing is a monster and it needs to go. <clears throat> now, originally this battle was just going to be for fun and I wasn't going to upload it, but the battle was just so good that it had to upload it and because he did not he did knock me out before i even get a chance to go for my primarinium z move whatever the sparkling aria z move which i had but i couldn't go for it because this toucan sam goes for bullet seed look how much that bullet seed does i'm max hp i'm supposed to be fat he only needs four of them to knock me out which is kind of ridiculous also <laughs> I like how Citra, it, it, whenever you're doing this screen like this, both Pokemon on the screen while attacking, it eats up so much data that slows down everything, which is kind of funny. But Toucan Sam has a hot, hot beak. Anyways, he knocked me out here. I'm just going to go right out into my, what did I go on to? Oh yeah, my Anaconda. Because at this point, I don't really need Anaconda. All the threats to all the threats to Anaconda have been dealt with. So even if he does go for this Beak Blast that will burn me if I contact him, I can at least go for my High Jump Kick to knock him out because this thing is actually a threat to me. If I don't knock him out with Sharpedo, uh, Sharpedo dies. If I don't knock him out with Juvia, Juvia dies. This thing has to go. So Anaconda just goes for High Jump Kick and knocks it out, which is really, really nice. I am burned now, but a burned Anaconda should still be able to deal with things like Ductrio and... um. <clears throat> What's up? I can't remember the koala Pokemon name. It's like Karmatos or something like that. But I, I can knock that out. He just goes right into the Fabio. I should be able to knock this out because this thing is stupid frail and high jump kick's really strong. So I'm just going to go for the high jump kick here. He goes for Iron Head trying to flinch me. Um, It turns out that from that damage, it looks like this man is just straight up banded. I'm going to go for high jump kick and I miss high jump kick, which means uh, Anaconda has had her run. She gets knocked out. Kind of unfortunate because I would have been able to deal with this monstrous threat. 
But because uh, bandits, this thing is bandit. So I go into my Shinaz knowing that it's bandit because they can't knock me out and I need to kill this Dug Trio. So I'm just gonna go for Waterfall here because this thing is an absolute beast. I I, I love Dug Trio, man. I kind of want to use it because it's got base 110 speed. That's really fast, especially for this meta. He goes on Kamala. Uh, I'm assuming the only reason he did this was so that he could go back into Dug Trio and be locked in an Earthquake because with Earthquake, he has a chance to knock out Sharpedo and um, Tapu Fini, which are my last two Pokemon. So I'm just gonna go for double waterfall here and I'm gonna hope that Earthquake can't knock me out. Because I know I can knock this thing out, which is like whatever. Uh, Komala, that's what it's called. Why did I think it was Karmatos? I think its ability is Karmatos. Whatever. Uh. Oh, excuse me. But anyways, he does go for Earthquake here. He does outspeed me because he is actually Jolly Jolly um, Banded. Jolly Band. And Jolly Band does do the work to my Mega Sharpedo. <laughs> Completely knocking it out. So now we are in a 1v1 situation. Juvia versus the world. Juvia, can you eat up this earthquake? Can you help me win this game? Fugio is one of the few people that ever puts me in like really precarious situations in league format and stuff like that. Um, he goes for earthquake. Juvia, can you hang on? It's a banded earthquake. Can you do this? Juvia, Juvia, you've got this. Juvia. And Juvia holds on and Juvia finishes this game off with a nice and powerful scald. That's going to be my Wi Fi battle versus Fugio, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. Go check out Fugio. His link is in the description below. He does upload hilarious videos, uh, non Pokemon related, of course. And um, yeah, on the screen, you're going to see my last Wi Fi battle versus uh, Cypher Blocka. We battled in the classroom and I got to use uh, some really, really cool, a really, really cool trick room team. You guys should definitely check that out. Um, and then, you know, there's other shit. Um, what else? If you guys want to battle me, follow me on Twitter. If you guys want me to use any specific teams, I will use subs. I will use teams of subscribers that send me teams. I will use Pokemon that you guys suggest because I, I do have a lot of fun team building. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.